The Mermaid Chair is a 2005 novel by American author Sue Monk Kidd, who gained acclaim for her 2002 work, The Secret Life of Bees. The story centers on Jessie Sullivan, who returns to Egret Island to care for her mentally unstable mother, Nell. This visit prompts Jessie to reflect on her life, including her strained relationship with Nell and her desire for a sense of freedom she has never fully experienced. Jessie has long been distant from her mother, and now, as a middle-aged woman, she faces the challenge of understanding their relationship. At the same time, she begins to reassess her marriage to Hugh, a stable yet conventional husband with whom she has spent many years. Jessie feels a growing need for independence that her life with Hugh cannot satisfy. During her stay on Egret Island, Jessie meets brother Thomas, a monk who is close to taking his final vows. Their connection stirs a deep internal conflict in Jessie, forcing her to question whether passion and comfort can coexist. Her introspection is further complicated by unresolved trauma surrounding her father's death, a tragedy that has haunted both her and her mother for three decades. Sue Monk Kidd often writes about characters whose lives are shaped by loss and transformation. While The Secret Life of Bees followed a young runaway finding refuge with three black sisters, the Mermaid Chair explores a middle-aged woman's struggle against the confines of her life. In both novels, the characters grapple with guilt over a parent's death. Jessie's father died in a fishing boat explosion, reportedly caused by a leaking fuel line ignited by a spark from a pipe she had given him. This burden of guilt has weighed on Jessie for over 30 years. The catalyst for Jessie's return to her childhood home is a phone call from a family friend informing her that her mother, struggling with her own demons, has severed her finger with a carving knife. Once back on the small South Carolina island, Jessie attempts to heal the rift between her and her mother. In doing so, she learns that the pipe she gave her father was not responsible for his death, a discovery that reopens old wounds. Simultaneously, she decides to leave her husband, whom she sees as dismissive and condescending, seeking a fresh start beyond the life she has known. Adding to Jessie's inner turmoil is her deepening attraction to Brother Thomas, the youngest of the island's Benedictine monks. The narrative also hints that Father Dominic, the monastery's librarian, holds secret knowledge about Nell's struggles. The monastery itself plays a symbolic role in the story, giving the novel its title. Within the abbey lies an intricately carved chair adorned with mermaid figures dedicated to a saint who, according to legend, was once a mermaid before her conversion. Both Jesse and Brother Thomas are seeking freedom from their restrictive lives, Jesse from her stagnant marriage and Brother Thomas from the confines of monastic life. The story evolves into both a romance and a journey of self-discovery. While the comparison between married life and monastic vows as sources of entrapment can feel overly simplistic, especially within a narrative of love at first sight, the mermaid chair explores these themes with rich symbolism. Examples include Jessie's art, constrained within small boxes, and her husband Hugh's nightmares about the isolation of outer space. The novel became a New York Times bestseller and won the 2005 Quill Award for General Fiction. It has been translated into 23 languages. However, the New York Times offered a more critical take, stating, the whole book revolves around spiritual replenishment born out of pain and sacrifice. Ms. Kidd has dealt more explicitly with such themes in earlier books, but in the remarkably literal-minded mermaid chair, they wind up abandoned. While Ms. Kidd seems to be sending her heroine on a daring voyage of self-discovery, she is creating a new route back to complacency instead. Miss Kidd piles on the low country ambience with Nell's best friends, one of whom speaks Gullah, pelican watching, mud snails, and mermaid memorabilia. Indeed, the Egret Island setting is the book's most inviting aspect, but it too feels generic. If a computer had been asked to combine romance, spirituality, nature, tourism, and violent self-mutilation, it might have come up with something like this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.